Oh, crikey. Oh, good morning. What time is it? 20 past six. Oh dear. That was a good night's rest. I'm actually in uh, a hotel opposite Heathrow Airport and we're gonna go and get a plane at 9.20 to JFK in New York. Uh, we're gonna capture the whole journey there. Um, we're gonna capture board and we're gonna capture flight. And if you're a bit of a plane enthusiast then we're gonna get all that for you as well. It's gonna be quite exciting. I'm gonna show you exactly what Virgin Atlantic is like because we're traveling on Virgin Atlantic. Um, I've booked economy as well. Lots of people saying that Virgin Atlantic is not as good as it used to be. Well, we're gonna go and find out and uh, see what it's like. If you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications if I upload new videos. Now, while I just snooze for another 10 minutes, let's go. Right, two minutes in the bathroom and Mac looks great as usual. This is a fantastic hotel room, by the way. It's excellent. If you haven't seen the review on it, go back and have a look at it because it's superb. Got a runway view. We've also got a sky bar at the top where you can sit and eat and look at the planes landing. It's fantastic. So take a look at that one. It's up there somewhere. It's brilliant. It really is. Right, let's get a move on because we need to get a taxi now over to Terminal 3 to get the plane. It's the first Virgin Atlantic. Come on. I'm excited, aren't you? Thank you. Right, here we are, Terminal 3, Heathrow Airport. I'm gonna drop this case off, even though it's really small. Um, it's easier just not to mess around in the airport, etc. and I've got some liquids as well. Um, I'm just gonna take my uh, laptop bag with me. So I'm gonna get this checked in, and then we're gonna go through and have a look around the airport. But um, 
Virgin Atlantic years ago. I mean, I've traveled since and I've done a couple of videos, but years ago, it was special, wasn't it? I mean, it was, it was bringing back the 60s and 70s kind of feel of air travel, etc. By the way, five pound drop off charge. Shame on you, airports. Shame on you. Five quid to drop people off. That's taking the mick. Right, all checked in. Oh, well, I'd already checked in, but they still printed me a ticket anyway. Flight's on time, and apparently we're gonna get there 15 minutes early. So we've got to get through security. Um, I'm not gonna take you with me, because as I always say, I don't want the rubber glove treatment because they've got backstage passes. So I'll see you on the other side. Right, through security, that took about 10 minutes. They did check my bag and did all the swipe thing or whatever to see. I don't know, what are they checking for? Do I look dodgy? I must look dodgy. Anyway, we're gonna go through uh, duty free. Now I'm always told not to film duty free. That's probably because it ain't cheap, is it? And they just want, they don't want you to see how expensive it is. I'll go and see how much the Jameson is though, and then we'll head through and get a little bite to eat and a coffee or something. Come on. £1,763. I don't think I'd want to drink that. The curator. I could be a curator. I'd be the great curator. I'd be the great curator. <laughs> but at £13.50 for a full English, I think I'll give it a miss. Don't really like eating a full English before a plane ride anyway. So it upsets my stomach and it's not good for the person next to me. Right, now here's a question for you ladies. Pilots, do they do it for you? Because Sarah always wanted to uh, date a pilot. When I first went out with her, she said, oh, shame you're not a pilot. What, what is it with a pilot? It's only like being a bus driver, isn't it, nowadays? I mean, it does it itself. I don't know, you tell me in the comments, ladies. Does it do it for you? Caviar, oysters and prunes. I can't think of anything worse. <laughs> Macaroons as well. Doesn't do it for me. You can take the boy out of Mansfield, but you can't take Mansfield out of the boy. Just give me a, I don't know, Mars bar and a, I don't know, a coffee or something. That'll do. Anyway, come on, onwards.
a gate shown at 8.20. Um, it's now 8. Um, I need a coffee, but there is no way that I am queuing for like 10, 15 minutes to get an overpriced coffee. I can't do it. I mean, if there was, if there was not a queue, I'd go and get one. But I do need a coffee. I don't have anything this morning. Might have to be boots. So I've been in boots. I really don't, I don't fancy a sandwich though at 8 in the morning. A sandwich from Watsits and a Ribena at 8 in the morning. I don't know, I'll have a wander around. There is something to be said about those airport lounges because I can use on Revolut. I could have actually gone into a, a lounge or something, a premium lounge, but it's too late now. I think next time I'll probably do that. And uh, it's a bit more relaxed, isn't it? Anyway, come on, onwards. Might be in luck here, it looks a little less busy. Prep, going all up market, aren't I? It's a London thing, I think. So I got a latte and a natter. I think it was about six pounds twenty. Crikey! You need to remortgage your house nowadays, don't you, for a coffee and a pastry? Right. Well, I think it was actually six pounds ninety, not six twenty. But let's taste it. Hmm. Right. Well, the gate's showing now, so we'll grab the coffee and have a walk over. Hey, Pratt coffee's quite nice. I've never had that before. I tell you what, that's good. It's good coffee. Right, let's get on board. 60k economy. That's where I belong. If only. I think it was about nine grand to go upper class. Nine thousand pounds. The same kind of person booking that who gets that whiskey back in duty free for 40 odd grand or whatever it was. Crazy. Time today is fairly quick, seven hours and three minutes. And uh, this time is now sitting at 38,000 feet. If you'd like to follow the uh, routing that makes it scale up the board, I'd like to find the system as you give us some further detailed information on the flight and levels. 
Weather conditions along the route forecast to be smooth. Would I recommend, however, you keep your seatbelt securely fastened, even the seatbelt signs are switched off in case we encounter any unexpected turbulence along our route today. In charge of the cabin is Flight Service Manager Kelly, and together with our excellent crew, she'll make sure that your flight is enjoyable and comfortable as possible. The crew are here, however, many for your safety. With that in mind, they'll surely be showing you a safety video demonstration. We appreciate it, we give it full attention, even if you've many times before. Phil's doing the flying today. He'll come back to you near our top of the sample and estimate the arrival time into uh, JFK and expect the weather. In the meantime, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Thank you.
some of the electro your electronic equipment may interfere with the aircraft system, and we have provided details of these on the back of your safety card. If you are connecting your electronic equipment to the in-seat power supply, can I please ask you not to leave it connected while you're not using it, just in case it overheats? And also, please do not connect any item that produces direct heat to our power supply. Our onboard, onboard Wi-Fi will be available shortly. For details on how to connect, please refer to our Vera magazine. Flight time today is approximately seven hours. I do recommend you take a look at our in flight entertainment, which contains a series of travel health programs on how to stay comfortable and safe throughout the flight. If you would like to pray during the flight, please use space available within your cabin section. The crew can suggest where's best. And I'd like to request that you do this after the main mail service.
gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. Welcome here to JFK. The local time has just gone 11.35 in the morning, and that's a wonderful over 20 minutes early. It's about 22 degrees outside. Can I please ask you to keep your seatbelts fastened until the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt signs? All of us do need to remain seated to keep the aisles and the exits clear, so we'll return any items we've stowed for you as soon as we arrive. You can now turn on and utilise your mobile phone. Please do refrain from smoking until you have reached a designated smoking area. We'll return any items we've stowed for you as soon as we arrive at the terminal. If you were given an infant life jacket at the beginning of the flight, can I please ask you to have this ready for collection? will be coming through the cabin. Before you do leave us, can I please ask you to have a good check around your seat and in those seat pockets and make sure you have everything with you. And when you're opening the overhead lockers, please be careful as items may have moved during the flight and they could fall out and cause an injury. If you've requested assistance here at JFK, can I please ask that you stay in your seat until most of our customers have left the aircraft and then we'll be able to help you. If you are yet to donate any loose change or foreign currency to our fantastic Passport for Change charity appeal, there will be a collection bag at the door of the aircraft as we say goodbye to you. I really, really hope you've enjoyed your time on board with us today. I'll be passing you into the care of our airport team here in New York. Next time you travel, please remember you can download the Virgin Atlantic app from the App Store to manage your booking and check in online. Don't forget, you can join our flying club to collect points on today's flight for a range of exciting benefits from air miles to exclusive discounts and lots more. But from myself and the captain and my wonderful team today, please have a safe and onward journey and we really look forward to welcoming you back on the aircraft very, very soon. Thank you and a very good morning. So we're slightly early. Uh, there's an aircraft on our stand. You probably see it over the right-hand side of the aircraft. Uh, there's an uh, Emirates aircraft on our stand. It's number six. Uh, he was supposed to have moved by now, but uh, unfortunately he hasn't. Um, we're reliably informed he'll be moving within the next 10 minutes or so, so we should still be getting you on stand on or near our scheduled arrival time. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, that Emirates isn't going to be moving anytime soon because it's got a broken jet bridge which they can't get off the aircraft. Uh, the good news is they've managed to allocate us another stand uh, opposite that one. Uh, they're just going to be moving our, our equipment over to there so that they can handle us when we arrive on stand. So just a few moments longer and we'll get you on, off the aircraft. Thanks for your patience. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for your patience. Uh, please remain seated uh, just for a few moments longer until we come on stand and I'll turn the fast seat that's fine. Right, so I'll let you know about the flight in a minute. Um, let's get through immigration, then we'll wind it up and we'll do uh, about Virgin Atlantic. Is it as good as it used to be? Well, I'll let you know in a minute. Two hours later. Right, so it took two hours to get through uh, immigration absolutely crazy because I didn't renew my global entry <clears throat> global entry so I actually need to do that next time because that was absolutely cr it was painful right my bag must be already out because it'll be the next surely now it'll be the next plane let's try and find this bag in fact I can track it on my app
This is drastic. They've broke my case. I've had this years. This is part of the channel. It's broken. Baggage handlers. Shame on you. Do you know what? Baggage handlers. Unbelievable. How can you break a wheel off of a case that I've had for years? Unbelievable. The wheels come off. They just chuck it about, don't they? Anyway, there we go. So, Virgin Atlantic, what do I think? I think it's gone downhill from years ago. I don't think it's anywhere near as what it used to be. There was no salt and pepper for the meal. Uh, a friend of mine, actually, who went Virgin Atlantic to New York the other week, noticed that, that there was no salt and pepper. Obviously another cutback. Um, I think they've been cutting back quite a bit recently. Staff very pleasant. Um, there was plenty of room at six foot four. The flight cost me about 540 pounds return for economy. My personal advice to you would be, do not use Virgin Atlantic and take a look at JetBlue because JetBlue different league they are literally like virgin were back in the day uh, i can't believe it what an end to this journey my wheels fallen off the wheels fallen off my case unbelievable there we go anyway so that's virgin atlantic if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button click that little bell for notifications of when i upload new videos and i'll see you guys in the next one lots more content coming your way so make sure you hit that subscribe button see you see you for now bye bye